I'm Kevin Helliker for the Wall Street Journal, and I'm here to talk about mountain bikes. You're probably thinking that I know a lot about mountain bikes. You might even think that I would say of a particular bike that its Floatex shares the same external rebound and compression adjustments as the standard float with its damping circuit located on the piggyback reservoir. Actually, I have no idea what I just said. What I just said was something I picked up out of a mountain bike trade magazine. What I'm gonna tell you are five simpler things that you need to know about mountain bikes. First, they're not just for mountains. Mountain bikes are incredibly popular these days in Kansas. That's right. Among the many other things that you can do in Kansas, these days, you can ride mountain bikes on trails beside streams, fields, and railroad tracks. Same goes for Florida and Illinois. In fact, the Chicago Area Mountain Bikers Association is one of the nation's most active. If you've ever been to Chicago, you know it's flatter than Kansas. Two, riding on trails significantly reduces your chance of getting hit by a car. Let's face it, the scariest thing about riding a road bike is that roads are teeming with cars, many of them driven by people who don't like cyclists. Three, if you do ride on city streets, there's a good argument for doing it on a mountain bike. Its tires don't flat out so easily, and it negotiates potholes better than those delicate road bike wheels. Its frame tends to be heavier, thus more durable, and that extra weight makes riding it a more vigorous workout. Four, if you're shopping for a mountain bike and the salesman talks about travel, he's not referring to the business of getting from point A to point B. In mountain bike lingo, travel refers to the amount of suspension or shock absorption built into the bike. In other words, how far you bounce up and down when you hit a rock. But suspension comes at the cost of pedal efficiency and nimbleness. If you want to go fast and do lots of stunts, go for a hardtail, no rear suspension. Just say, no travel for me, I'll have a hardtail. See how tough that makes you sound? Five, the hottest new race in mountain biking is called enduro. That sounds tough, doesn't it? Enduro? Except it really isn't. In enduro, you are only timed going downhill. In other words, you're not timed going uphill. See the beauty of that? You don't have to kill yourself going uphill. In fact, you can walk your bike uphill. You can stop on the way up and have a picnic, then have a blast flying downhill. If you know how to ride a two-wheeler, that's really all you need to know about mountain bikes. Oh yeah, and be careful out there.